Now let's take a look at number 18 from 1.2. This is not one of our assigned homework problems, but it is similar to some of the others that are assigned. And it's one of the first times that we have seen a variable, a letter like H, in a matrix that we're trying to row reduce. So let's take a look at what's going on in 17 and 18. Uh, so they say in 17 and 18, determine the value or values of H such that the matrix is an augmented matrix of a consistent linear system. Uh, so keep in mind what consistent means. Uh, consistent just means at least one solution. And let me remind you what it looks like when it's inconsistent, when there's no solution. Uh, no solution uh, looks like there will be a row that is like 0, 0, and then something that's not zero. Because when, for an augmented matrix, when you put the x's and y's and equal signs back on, uh, something in this form is zero x plus zero y equals five. So it comes out to that contradictory equation of zero equals five. So we just want to make sure that does not happen on 18. To find out when that will or won't happen, we need to reduce the matrix. So let's go ahead and start doing that. We need to start by putting a zero there. If that was a five instead of an H, uh, we'd know what to do. We just do negative five times the first row added to the second row. Uh, there's nothing different about H. It's still going to be negative H times the first row added to the second row uh, becomes the new second row. So let's do that. So the first row will stay the same. Uh, but on the second row, we'll do negative h times 1 is negative h added to h is 0. And that was our goal. Um, negative h times negative 3 is positive 3h plus 6. And we know we can't combine non-like terms, so that just becomes 3h plus 6 in that spot. And also here, negative h times 1 uh, becomes negative h, so negative h minus 2 in this spot. Okay, so we need to, again, make sure that we are not going to have this form of 0, 0, not 0. So let's first of all figure out what it would take. I mean, there's already a zero in this spot, but let's figure out what it would take to put a zero in that spot. So what value of h would make that slot turn into zero? So there's a little equation to solve. Uh, subtract six from both sides, divide by three. So you'd get h is negative two. So our only chance to even get a zero there and a zero there is for h to be negative two. It's also worth checking to make sure that negative two gives us something that is not zero there. Um, otherwise, you know, if all three slots are zero, then you just get zero x plus zero y equals zero, which is true all the time. And that does not create a contradiction and, and does not mean no solution. Uh, so let's check that. If h is negative 2, the second row becomes 0. Plug that in there, that becomes 0. Uh, and negative, negative 2 is positive 2, minus 2 is also 0. Uh, so if h equals negative 2, we don't get a contradiction. So even with our one candidate for putting a 0 in this spot, uh, that did not end up creating a contradiction because it also put a zero in that spot. And really when h is negative two, uh, notice the original row <laughs> just becomes negative two, six, negative two, which is exactly negative two times the first row. So it just, just means the first row and the second row are the same equation. Uh, so the same, graphically the same line on top of each other. Uh, and there are infinitely many solutions there, not zero solutions. So there is no value of h that will make this 
matrix an inconsistent system. So all values of H make it a consistent system. That might not be the same for number 17. Uh, so you'll have to do the row reduction. Obviously, the H is in a different spot on number 17. Uh, but you'll have to make sure, again, that you don't get this 0, 0, non-zero format, which would become an inconsistent system.